Salutations, everyone. This is Overseer JC, your host of the Outstay podcast. The podcast, um, basically, um, usually it's me and uh, the other three members of the Outlast crew talking about certain topics that, well, I mean, either certain topics or just randomly about. Today is just episode 1.5. Because in between each episode, it's just going to be me talking about subjects that we cannot really talk about in detail about certain topics. Because then that would just rank up the time. Kind of what happened in episode one. I didn't mean to. I was just over-enthusiastic with The Haunting Hour. Now, to be fair... Um, I'm not going to, in these episodes, I'm not going to take as much time as the podcast, because the in-betweens, they're still podcast episodes, but they'll be either closer to the next episode, or literally right after the episode. More like a post-podcast episode. Basically, just me talking about subjects that I know about, and maybe if I can once COVID lifts... I know I'm saying the one thing that YouTube does not like is COVID-19. Fuck you, YouTube. You can't demonetize me. I don't get money out of this, you fuckwad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but basically, this is where I just talk about topics, whether it's certain video games, animes, YouTubers, um, guns, Basically, any topic that we can't fit into a normal podcast topic meant for three to two people, then it will be here. Now, the first episode right here that I'm not going to try and take too long, ideas. Mainly because it was, if you read, if you actually made it to the end of episode one, it was going to be about the haunting hour. But when I was starting to uh, record that, I realized something. I just talked about all the points I wanted to in almost an hour. The, the basically what it was going to take for me to do the exact same thing. Talk about my favorite episodes. Talk about uh, the show itself. And I'm trying, when I talk about certain topics, I try not to be like everyone else and combine the real world with that specific topic, even though that's how topics are. No matter how much you want to get away from it, the real world hits things like a truck. Like, you want to talk about video games, boom. You got to talk about every uh, reviewer, uh, news outlet, or angry parent that has gone with that certain video game. You want to talk about guns, boom, everyone trying to take away guns or trying to uh, say guns are bad. And then you got people who basically will rant about anything, anybody. And so you can't win in any situations. And that's where ideas come from. Ideas are the in-betweens, the brain... Um, light bulb moments that just get you to want to talk. Now, you can either, you can do so much research, but if you don't have a good idea, then everything's gonna crumble. Just the same way, basically, talking, podcast, or even just uh, building a house to just simply painting a wall doesn't just happen because it needs to happen. It needs to have an idea. And without an idea, everything crumbles apart. If you have no idea and no motivation, you're not going to get a certain certified product. No matter how much you look into it, you're not going to get the outcome you want if you don't have an idea. Ideas are one of the building blocks of our society. We wouldn't have uh, the technology that you're listening to this uh, podcast on without ideas. Now, 
the whole point of my podcast, you're not supposed to look at the screen. You're just supposed to listen to it. I'm not going to put it on no Spotify and lose money, uh, because I'm pretty sure you have to pay for that, like, to put podcasts on there, and I'm not losing money for that. I'm not even going to monetize it, because that's stupid. I just want it to be on a network that will work. Now, we will do games, and I'm thinking if I can get in touch with some, talk with YouTubers. Probably get them on the podcast. Well, not right now, because <laughs> my, my viewer count. But other than that, it's like, you have to have ideas. And before you publish those ideas outwards, make sure that it's foundational. Now, for right now, because Bethesda.net actually, for some reason, my, my Xbox keeps dying when I try to play Fallout 4. That's why you haven't seen me record any mod reviews. Now, I could do mod reviews on Fallout New Vegas, but I don't, um, I don't want to do that right now. But basically, I'm not trying to talk about my ideas. Ideas in general. Without spite, creativity, ideas are useless. You could be the smartest man in the world, but if you don't have a lick of creativity, you won't get an idea. You think, um, ovens, uh, microwaves, fridges, even coffee makers, do you think they were just because someone thought it would be cool to make their job easier? I mean, yes, but... Laziness, um, anger, spite, and creativity is what drives people to do ideas. You can't just sit around and expect an idea to flourish in your mind. You have to be doing things. You have to be seeing things. And yes, sometimes you are just sitting around and it just pops into your head. But what were you doing when the idea popped into your head? And that's what's great about ideas. And so, other than that, it's like, you, know, you if you don't think about it too much, our society wouldn't exist without ideas. And of course you're like, well, of course we got ideas. Everyone learns ideas in school. But you're not seeing the bigger picture. Ideas are what drive us. They drive criminals. They drive corrupt politicians. They drive celebrities. They drive the common person. They drive the rich. They drive the poor. No matter what's going on with their life, if they have the idea, the belief, that something good can happen if they just wait. It can change their life. But you already knew that. Ideas are the building blocks of our society. You start with ideas. Then you start with ambition. Then you start with the knowledge, the know-how. But it all starts because of ideas. And curiosity is the stepping stone to like great ideas. Because people just looking around and seeing things that would look weird if you put them together are why most things are made. And that's fascinating. It was go this episode was going to be about the haunting hour, but I decided on something different. The idea of talking about ideas popped in my head. I'm like, I've already talked about everything I needed. To, they needed to know about that show within that podcast. What else was there to talk about that hadn't already been said? So, let's talk about the topic that mainly everyone should know, or in some cases, already should have a good grasp about to start my little segment in this podcast ideas people have a lot of ideas 
people might have ideas that are strong, and some have ideas that are failures. But in the end, ideas are ideas. You, you can't kill ideas. You can only block them out. And you can only block them out for certain person. It's like a virus. You give the idea to somewhere else, someone else, they're bound to do or have the knowledge to do what you couldn't. And that's why... Th that's the first topic that we were talking about. I am time. I am bad at endings. It's only going to be about the 11 minutes I took from your life. But this was Overseer JC. I know you probably don't uh, like this type of stuff. I know you probably think I'm annoying. But just in case. Just if you want to see what us lonely band of misfits do. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to record that in a few days. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.